like eight months ago, I made a video where I turned a scratch game into a mobile app. That video did insanely well, getting over 200,000 views, and a lot of people commenting were asking for a full tutorial on how to actually convert the scratch game file into a mobile app because I didn't really do that great of a job explaining it in the video, uh, which is why I'm recording this right now. This method I'm going to show you today definitely works on Androids. It might work in Apple devices. I don't have an iPhone, so there's no really way for me to test it, but it might work for you, so who knows. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to want to get the Scratch project that you want to turn into an app, obviously. Uh, here I've got one of my other games that I made like quite a while ago. Yes, this was also a video. But yeah, it's pretty much just Flappy Bird, but you have three lives and you're a marshmallow for some reason. Uh, so before we do anything, I just do want to demonstrate that the, that the dimensions of this project are not the dimensions of your phone probably. So I'm going to show you how to resize it so you can actually full screen on your phone or else you're going to get these really weird black bars that just kind of hurts the functionality and the gameplay of the app. Alright, so first let's grab the URL of your scratch project. Let's copy it and paste it into the Turbo Warp editor. The link is in the description with a bunch of other websites from this video. Um, so go ahead and check those out. In the editor, you're going to go to edit, then advanced settings. Now you're going to want to change the aspect ratio or the dimensions of this project to the dimensions of your phone. For example, you can kind of just Google it. My phone is an S21 Plus, so I'm just going to Google that. Um, and now I know the dimensions are 2400 by 1080. So if we go back to Turborb and put in the numbers, you're going to notice that this makes the stage size really, really big. Um, but we can actually just divide these down into smaller numbers, divide both these by 4, and we get a stage size that's a bit smaller, and we can actually work with it and edit it. Um, now let's go into the project, and here's, it's kind of just going to be like tweaking some small things. For example, um, when I play the project, you can see that the marshmallow is on the edge, um, and it's kind of just chilling there. So I'm going to change his position like that. Um, make a bit more of the center and pretty simple now the game works a bit more like normal and after spending some more time Just fixing up the UI and making it look more like a mobile app The project looks a lot lot cleaner on this new stage size and now we can move on to the next step All right now we're moving on to the fun part here We're gonna send the project to the packager by clicking file and then packager on the top left corner here like that now that we're here, make sure to change the aspect ratio back to your phone's aspect ratio. For some reason, it doesn't load over. I don't know why. Just use the same numbers you inputted earlier. And make sure that resize aspect ratio is checked. And make sure start project automatically with that green flag is also checked. There's some other settings you can mess with, like a custom loading screen. Um, but you could take a look at those on your own time. There's too many of them. Um, and honestly, they're just not that important to this video. After you package the project with the screen button and it's downloaded to your computer, go to your file manager or your file explorer and rename it to index. Make sure that the full file name is index.html. You don't need to write the .html part, it should be automatically filled in for you. Okay, so after this you're going to want to go to github, links in the description again. Um, and if you don't have an account, make one real real quick. Now that you're in github, click create a new repository. You can name it to whatever you want, typically just name it after a project. It really, really doesn't matter that much. And then to finish creating the repository, click the green button at the bottom. Click upload file, and then upload the index.html file that you literally just created a second ago. Lastly, don't forget to click commit changes to save your progress. Now go to settings, click pages, and set the branch to main and save it. Give it a minute or two to load, it, sometimes it lags a bit, um, yeah. We're so close, we're almost done. This is practically the last couple of steps. Now in a new tab, you're just gonna wanna type in the following. Make sure everything is spelled correctly and it's all word for word. So you're gonna type your GitHub username dot github dot io slash the name of your GitHub rep, which is the one you literally just created a second ago. Um, so for me, my username is Project Labs Coding, and my repository is called Marshmallow Run. So the URL just ends up looking like that. If you typed it incorrectly after you press enter, you should be able to interact with your project in the search bar like you would to a regular scratch stage. Now the last website you're gonna need to visit today is median.co and click create a new app. Again, links in the description. Take that link that you wrote in your new tab and paste it in here. For some reason, it makes you put in your contact email. I don't really know why. It doesn't matter that much. You can just put something random here. It just, you just need to have something there. 
Now you're going to go through the process of finalizing the app. You can change the name, you can change the icon, you can change some settings here and there. There's a lot of fun different stuff that you can do. Um, so yeah, again, that's completely up to you. Finally, go to the build and download tab at the bottom. Click build binaries for APK slash AAB. From here, you can either download the APK and share the file with your friends, or you can generate a QR code. I personally think the QR code is easier. Just take a picture with your phone. It'll send you directly back to the same website and it'll load the APK. So I'm gonna go over to my phone right here. Right there. Okay, so yeah, you can just click download APK, um, click install, and kind of just go through how you would install regular APK. Um, you might get a warning that says it may have a virus. I can assure you it absolutely does not. Your phone just doesn't recognize the developer, but it's fine because you're the developer. Um, just bypass it and download it like you would regularly. From there, the app is finished, and you can now play your Scratch project on your phone. That simply. Um, that's kind of ironic because I know this method is really, really complicated, but trust me, it took me two months to figure this whole process out. It sucked a lot. Um, and to be fair, I didn't even figure it out. Someone else just kind of told me. Um, but yeah, you're welcome for this video, I guess. Have fun making some new apps. Um, for Apple, I honestly have no clue. If you go back to medium.co, there is this Apple source code thingy. If you know what to do with it um, and like it works, put it in the comments. I'll test it out. I might put it in the description or something. I'll pin it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, sorry for those of you who have Apple. Before I ended it off, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant, an online learning platform that helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Scratch is great and all, but if you really want to get into the world of computer science and mobile game development, I suggest taking a look at Brilliant's courses on programming and CS that will help you build a foundation to teach you the basic skills and functions of coding while still being really fun and really interactive. Even then, Brilliant has so many other lessons and interesting topics that it'll help you at school or just about whatever STEM subject you're interested in. It even helps you build a daily learning habit with their own free mobile app so you could do lessons on the go. For a 20% off premium subscription, head to Brilliant.org slash Project Labs and boost your learning today. Again, thanks to Brilliant.org for being the sponsor of today's video. But yeah, again, thank y'all so much for watching today's tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Um, it's the best way for me to know like what y'all like and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.